Kim here with Little Biz Resources, and today we're going to set up a Google business account. Now this was formerly Google My Business, and this is where you show up in Maps for local search results. This is super critical for local businesses, and it can be useful if you have a service area. Now if you have a physical location, it's a no-brainer. You just set up a Google business account, and you will have a physical spot on Maps. If you have a service area, you'll still show up but it won't show your physical location. And I'll show you all about that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the video of me off and so you can see what I'm doing. I should have given the disclaimer that I'm doing this on my mobile device, but I'm, I'm streaming it to my screen. So there could be some delays in this and it gets a little tricky, but first step, go to business.google.com. If you're not logged in, you'll need to log in. I am currently logged in. Next thing is that if you think your business already exists on Google, on the maps, then you need to type in the business name. Let's say I was doing McDonald's, right? McDonald's would show up, I pick the one. Those are all managed, and if somebody else manages your business, it can be very difficult to get back, especially if they don't release it. I manage businesses all the time and people try to claim it. They're not my clients, you know, they're not part of that. It's people just trying to claim the business and steal the maps listing so they can essentially hold it for ransom. So it's important that you claim your business if you haven't done so, because that'll prevent somebody else from doing that. So if it's on there and it's not claimed though, you can go through the process of find it here and claim it, right? So now I'm going to type in, um, I'm just gonna put in my name. I'm gonna do PhD, I, mean, I do have a PhD, I'm not making that up. <laughs> So I'm going to create a business with this name because I've created a lot of businesses trying to do this and it didn't record the last like three times and this one is recording. So I'm, I'm going to create this one because I know it doesn't exist and I opened it up in a Google account that doesn't have one and that's why it started off the way it looked and that's why I'm doing it this way. So you can do it completely from scratch and mobile. You can do this on desktop as well. I'm just doing it as mobile because a lot of people I know only have a mobile device. All right, so the business category, I'm gonna put something about consulting. And if you, I know on mobile it's blocking it, but you can minimize the keyboard and then you can look through. So I have, there's consultant, um, a lot of these are not just consultant, there are obviously other things. But I'm actually gonna go back, instead of just consultant, I'm gonna do business and see what comes up there. And they have, and you can, you can, you know, look at the different ones, just type in A and B and C and look through them. And then I'm going to do, I'll do business management consultant. And then I'm going to say next, do you want to add a location? Now this is where you can either add a physical location if you have one. And I have a, I have one company that has a physical location that's mine and then I have clients that have physical locations. So I do say yes on this. However, because I'm not going to have a physical location on this one, I'm gonna say no. Say next. Where do you serve your customers? Now this is optional. You could just hit next, you don't have to do it. For me, I do want to be local because I'm gonna offer some local trainings eventually. So I'm going to put in Sparks, Nevada, and then I'm gonna put in Spanish Springs, Nevada. Those are the two main areas around here. I'm gonna put Reno, Nevada as well, because that's right next door. And so I've got three on there, that's pretty good. You can add more later, and you can change them as well as you go. So you don't have to put anything in here. I like to put something in there to get started so it knows where I'm at. So I'm gonna say next, and this one says, what contact details do you want to show your customers? Now, interestingly enough, it has a phone number here. And I'm gonna see, it does, you must provide either a phone number or a website address, right? Well, let me try the phone number. I'm gonna put a phone number in and see if it works. The phone number did work. Now, I used um, a service called Hushed. I'll provide a link in the description. It's not an affiliate link or anything, it's just a link so you can know what resource I used you get like certain amount of credits per month, but I'll put a link in there. And then that, this was the next screen after I hit, I put the number in, I hit next, right? This is the next screen. So it says, get updates about your business. Would you like alerts, notifications, or tips about ways to manage your business on Google? They will email you a lot. I'm gonna say yes, because it doesn't matter to me. I, I don't mind the emails. I like to scan through them and see what's up. 
and then I hit next and somehow now please verify enter your mailing address to verify you cannot use a PO box you really should be using if you have a physical location obviously you have an address and they're gonna send you the postcard there if they send a postcard this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my home address but it says the information you put here is hidden from the public right so hidden from the public so don't worry you need to put an address in where you can get verified so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it again and then I will go to the next screen now since I put a phone number in it's asking me to get a code here so I'm gonna go ahead and say the phone to get verified so I'm gonna say phone code now there are more ways let me show you the more options here um, oh and actually there aren't any more ways anymore you used to be able to get a postcard I'm wondering if they took that away so we're gonna say phone code I'm gonna get a phone code and I hit next because that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm going to get it via text message you could use a Google voice number here I've done that and it worked just fine so I'm going to pause it while I wait for the code I entered the code that I received which was texted to me to that hush number and I hit verify and it says you're now verified you can reply to reviews turn on chat and more now this can take some time to update so don't worry if you don't see your your business show up immediately all right so now you can add business hours and the business hours are going to be um, whatever you set right so you if you want to do so that you're available all day long you just turn all these on and you can say opens that and closes that and you can put the hours they used to have a 24-hour option but they don't anymore I'm in Sparks which is the Reno area so you would think I'd still have a 24-hour option but I didn't say I was a casino so maybe that's why so you can say certain hours if you want and I would recommend if you legitimately have certain hours that people can contact you to put those hours in okay so I'm not gonna worry about all the hours I'm gonna turn it on I'm just saying next no nope, it's not gonna let me so I'm gonna turn these all back off I'm gonna do it later and then I'm gonna say next and then add messaging now this is messaging straight through Google so Google has an app you can get the messaging through that it's the I think it's just through maps or whatever but anyway so you can accept messages I think it emails you too nobody ever messages me they send me spam through email and phone but I don't get any messages so I'm gonna say accept messages I'm gonna say next and then I'm gonna add a business description here okay so I'm just gonna say um, I am a business consultant I help businesses business leaders oh my gosh that's a word streamline operations automate systems that is a word I don't know why I wants to capitalize it systems and strengthen that's a word yeah okay and strengthen business processes that's just a fancy way of saying I fix stuff right now of course I'll fix that later I'm gonna skip the photos if you have photos add them in I'm not going to claim my $500 in advertising so I'm gonna skip that for now I already have domains so I'm gonna skip that and it says your edits will be visible once you're verified now as you saw before I was already verified but it can take a while to show up as verified now it comes here I don't know why it does this because you saw I went to a different site to begin with but if you scroll down you will see it's your there's how you manage your business right there and it says your business is not visible to customers and part of that is probably because I'm closed all the time so I'm gonna go back and add hours I'll add a website I'm gonna add some photos eventually and I'll probably even do some videos if it lets me so that way I can you know dri start driving some traffic now in another video I'm gonna show you how to automate to this it will not be the next video I do but it will be one of the next videos because we're gonna start doing a, a series of automation that's going to lead to more automation to here to make this extremely powerful for your business especially if you're a local business all right so that's it for this one if you have questions let me know hop into the Facebook group you can tag me um, some people keep finding an email that I'm not checking so if you have access to an email address you probably should just message me through Facebook or hop into the group and tag me that's the, the best way and thanks for watching